This is Jasmine Martinez, a Florida woman who allegedly used $10,000 from a PPP loan to hire a hitman to murder her rival who had dated her ex-boyfriend. But you won't believe the insane story of how she got caught. Jasmine Martinez had already been charged in the past for assaulting the victim, Lashante Jones twice. The first time she hit LaShante in 2016, the case was dropped. And the second time she beat her up in 2018, that case was not dropped. When LaShante went to court to testify against Jasmine for that crime, Jones reported being held at gunpoint and robbed in the parking lot by two men, one of which was Martinez's ex-boyfriend, Kelly Nelson. Now, again, this happened outside the courthouse, so she leaves testifying on the case where she was assaulted, and then the woman uh, that she was testifying against, boyfriend, who was also so her ex-boyfriend robs her in the parking lot with another man. <laughs> Ain't that crazy? Now, after uh, Lashante, like most people, reported the robbery and uh, shortly after was harassed by Jasmine Martinez, who was in jail at the time, and her associates not to testify in the robbery case that they were now... <laughs> Uh, being charged with. Now, it wasn't all bad. The people that robbed her and assaulted her offered her money not to testify against Nelson and Keanu Queen, the other man who allegedly robbed her that day. Now, Jones received a message on social media asking her to call her attorney and say Nelson did not have a gun and that Martinez wanted Nelson home to help with the kids, said the warrant. But the funniest part about this is like, okay, you robbed me, you beat me up twice, uh, and my ex-boyfriend, who was your boyfriend now, uh, doing all of this and you expect me to not press charges so he could be at home with your kids. You probably should have thought of that before you decided to harass me to the ends of the earth. But anyway, uh, of course, LaShante ignored the harassment and that's when Jasmine Martinez decided that, you know what? I'm going to use this PPP loan that I'm getting from my hair salon in order to hire a hitman to analyze LaShante with the help of her boyfriend. About a week later, 35-year-old Ramel Robinson allegedly called 29-year-old Javon Carter to negotiate a price for the hit. While speaking in code, Robinson asked if he can get the number 10 jersey. Yeah, so that's 10,000, I'm guessing. And Carter responds that it's usually 20 to 25. And again, they're negotiating a hit on the phone. And while maybe that could be misconstrued for a number of things, uh, the warrant says there was also evidence of Martinez withdrawing $10,000 in cash. So I'm just guessing, putting two and two together, that was the payment for the hit. These people were serious about this hit. On April 30th and May 1st, and I guess you probably should be if you're getting paid 10 bands, but on April 30th and May 1st, police say cell records show Carter in Jones' apartment complex allegedly surveilling her. Then on May 3rd, Jones was shot and killed in front of her daughter. And another Miss Caller identified Carter as the person who shot Jones. Investigators said they also found cell phone data placing Carter at her apartment complex at the same time as the shooting. This is terrible for a number of reasons, and any time a life is lost, it definitely is. Uh, I don't know what kind of person Jasmine Martinez is, but I'm guessing not a good one. She harassed this woman for years uh, and eventually got her killed, and all for a man that she did not want and was not with at the time. And this whole situation is ridiculous. All of these people could not be in jail if they had simply left this young woman alone. But unfortunately, she lost her life and her child was even wounded. I'm hoping that the people involved get a lot of time for what they did. They deserve it. And I hope that the victim, Lashante, gets the uh, justice she deserves. But tell me what you think in the comments of this case. And if you want details and updates, I will be doing that. But let me know in the comments if that's something that you want. I am Joe Stone, and this is the Church of Joe Stone podcast. And I will see you in the next one. Gentlemen, the heavyweight champion of the world has arrived.